बैक टू माई चैनल टॉयलेट क्वीन भी स्वागत है आप सबका मेरे चैनल में इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू टू ईजी रेसिपी नो एक्चुअली आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टू ईजी रेसिपी टू प्रिपेयर पीनट बटर एट योर होम द फर्स्ट वन इज द बेसिक पीनट बटर रेसिपी एंड द सेकेंड वन इज चॉकलेट पीनट बटर रेसिपी सो यू नो वट गाइज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द रेसिपी आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू शेयर ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू शुड नो अबाउट पीनट बटर एंड हाउ पीनट बटर इज बेनिफिशियल फॉर योर स्किन फॉर योर हेयर टू गेट एक्नी फ्री स्किन एंड ऑल्सो हाउ पीनट बटर इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू इन योर वेट लॉस प्रोग्राम मोर ओवर गाइज यू रियली नो दैट पीनट बटर इज वेरी मच एक्सपेंसिव इफ यू गो टू द मार्केट एंड परचेज इट फ्रॉम देयर सो इफ यू कैन मेक पीनट बटर एट योर होम just like that then what's the point of uh, wasting so much of money before starting the video i would like to say that in this video at first i'm going to share all the information that you i believe that you must know uh, that how it is beneficial for you in various way and then i'm going to share the recipes so if you clicked in my video just to watch the recipes then i would like to say that check the description below i mentioned the time frame of the recipes you can just go and check the recipes but if you want to hear the information well and good it is going to benefit you as well so yeah one more thing i would like to say that if you are new into my channel then please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that whenever i will come up with new content you will get the notification moreover you can follow me in the instagram account now without wasting any further time let's get started thing first guys the combination of fat fiber and protein in peanut butter helps you keep full for longer time and also it lowers your appetite this way you skip unnecessary hunger and the crave for junk food which really helps you in your weight loss program peanuts are also a good source of energy and it will help you to increase your metabolic rate it is the best snack that you can have during your weight loss program how you can have it with your bread and also you can add it in your oatmeal also your chia seed pudding or you can just enjoy it with flax seeds peanut butter has manganese it is a kind of mineral that plays a very important role in metabolizing fat all right the monounsaturated fats and vitamins which are present in peanuts are really beneficial for your skin moreover peanut butter does have vitamin c and vitamin e which really helps to delay your visible signs of aging and you know guys that peanut butter also contain resveratrol which also helps you in your anti aging process moreover it gives you a clear and glowing skin And now when it comes about hair care it contains vitamin B and not only vitamin B it also contains different segments of vitamin B which really helps to induce the hair growth and now let's start with the recipes in this container i do have around 400 g of peanuts and i'm going to take 200 g of peanuts for the first recipe i'm using this cup to measure uh, 200 g of peanuts as you can see one cup is equivalent to 100 g and two cup is equivalent to 200 g of peanuts so the first step is to roast the peanuts it's very important uh, to keep it crunchy and after adding two cups of peanuts i'm going to roast it for uh, say few minutes like 1 to 2 minutes or less than 2 minutes that's it we need it to be crispy and crunchy as you can see guys that i already removed the skin of the peanuts if you want to keep it then it's your choice there is no issue with it and now i transferred the peanuts into the mixer grinder uh, jar and i'm going to grind it for approx 20 to 30 seconds but not more than that After 30 seconds you can see that the peanuts have grounded well and it seemed to be a bit wet it's because the oil started to getting out of the peanuts and uh, with the help of a spoon I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to add the other ingredients Here I'm going to add jaggery powder uh, I'm adding 2 and a half tablespoon of it and then I'm going to add vegetable oil now this is completely optional you can also add olive oil uh, but I'm running out of it so I'm adding the regular vegetable oil 
uh, don't add sugar because it will uh, increase the calorie intake and after then that I'm going to add vanilla essence now vanilla essence is completely optional if you wish you can add it if you don't want yeah, there is no need to add it after adding vanilla essence we are all done and again we are going to grind the mixture uh, say for about uh, 20 to 30 seconds or maybe one minute to make it a smooth paste and after one minute you can see that our peanut butter is ready just look at it really looking very delicious and yes one more thing guys at this moment uh, it's really hot uh, and I'm going to transfer this peanut butter into the glass jar uh, But yeah, when you mix peanut butter, you will notice that it will really get heated up So let it cool in a glass jar and after than that you can store it in the refrigerator For approx 3 to 4 weeks easily it will cool But if you don't have refrigerator then you can store it for a good uh, 3 to 4 days but not more than that so yes voila our peanut butter is ready and it's very inexpensive you can make it at your home now let it cool down and let's move to the next uh, recipe that is the chocolate peanut butter recipe and one more thing guys you can add uh, a pinch of salt or according to your taste you can add it but i don't like salt as much so yes it's up to you and yeah let's move to the second recipe now for the second recipe, I'm going to take 200 gram of peanuts, the remaining peanuts that I have and I'm not going to peel the skins but if you wish you can peel but I would suggest there is no need to do it and then I'm going to transfer all the peanuts into the mixing jar and now I'm going to grind it for 20 to 30 seconds uh, maximum time and as you can see now after grinding it for around 30 seconds it turned it into a very fine paste now what are the ingredients we need to mix at first i'm taking cocoa powder from wakefield and approx one fourth cup i'm gonna mix it with the paste after than that i'm going to add the vegetable oil uh, say three to four tablespoon maximum but uh, you can mix around two to three tablespoon uh, you can also add olive oil but as I already mentioned that I'm running out of it so I'm opting for vegetable oil. Now I'm going to add uh, vanilla essence that is one tablespoon of it and it is completely optional. After then that I'm going to add the remaining jaggery powder uh, that will be approx uh, three to four tablespoon it's because I already added cocoa powder. And now after adding all the ingredients I'm going to give it a good mix and after mixing it I'm going to grind it for another 30 to 40 seconds or maybe 60 seconds. After grinding it for 60 seconds it turned out to be a very nice paste as you can see guys. Now it's totally optional you can grind it for 20 to 30 seconds it's up to you but I believe that grinding it for 60 seconds it just uh, gives me the taste and the uh, feeling of that I purchased it from the market. And now I'm going to transfer it into a glass jar where I'm going to store it oh my gosh look at the chocolate peanut butter isn't it looking delicious guys and even it tastes much better than what we purchased from the market even if you ever try this recipe at your home i can bet that you will stop purchasing peanut butter from the market you will save a lot of bucks and you can make at your home easily and now guys i'm going to let it cool down for around one to two hours in room temperature and then i'm going to refrigerate it good morning guys and after refrigerating it for overnight it looks like this can you differentiate anything between the market peanut butter and these homemade peanut butters no right and this is how I love to eat peanut butter with bread with some freshly sliced bananas, mangoes or any seasonal fruits and I do add chia seeds on top of it. Now 
guys you can understand that how peanut butter is really beneficial for your weight loss program as well as to take care of your skin and for your hair guys i really hope that you enjoy this video and the two recipes which i mentioned in my video is really going to benefit you moreover if you listen to all the information which i provided in this video then i hope now you can understand that why consuming peanut butter is important for our skin for our hair as well as for our weight loss program so yes uh, one more important information i would like to give you that uh, make sure that you are not allergic to peanut butter then don't consume peanut butter and the second thing i would like to say that don't intake peanut butter too much like uh, only two tablespoon is enough for a day or maximum you can have three tablespoon of peanut butter a day but not more than that otherwise you may end up gaining weight or you may end up uh, causing acne so yeah too much of anything is really not good remember that uh, so yeah that's all i have to tell you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you really did then don't forget to like my video share my video and once again i would like to say that please to subscribe my channel please uh, support me in my journey i will be very glad uh, moreover you can also subscribe to my website i will mention the link in the description below see you soon in my next video till then take care of yourself stay home stay safe and if you're going out then don't forget to wear a mask and i love you guys bye